Okay, we should be live now. Ready to finish off Dungeon Siege. So some things to explore down here. We are in the basement of the castle. We just rescued the king, and we are currently going after, you know, I don't know what. Going after the pedestal to solve all the problems. I'm not too terribly interested in there being too many sidetracks along the way, but we will probably get a few. I'm just curious what else hiding in these. We got wraiths, we've got mucosas. They're, they've definitely imprisoned some odd stuff. Why would you imprison undead things instead of destroying them? Especially since most of this stuff is not worth much money. I did actually, if you tuned at the beginning of the stream, I was organizing my inventory. Yay. Well, not organizing it, but I was clearing out all the extra stuff because I don't think we're going to actually get a resupply point. If we do, it's going to be inconsequential to my strategies. And I did actually equip our main character with some slightly better stuff because she does have the strength for it. Let's go ahead and just murder things in these little pens. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just some, what, skek or sec. They could have chosen a better name for him, but eh, whatever. I did miss playing this game. It's actually something that has a lot of fond memories for me. That's worth a couple thousand. That actually... Oh, it actually goes down. And killed everyone. We were real sure if there was going to be anyone left, we would make our break. One thing's sure, we weren't going to make our chance any longer up there. Them sec was looking at us like it was food. Funny how you get lucky break once in a while if in that pack of sec hadn't broken to the Deller's swell cell from the sewers. We never would have known this place was down here. Heck, Hein got us the picks and shovels and gave us a shopping list to bring back. We made it out alive. Can you believe that? And you're not going to tell anyone we're down here, yeah? The sec don't eat us. Swanee probably will. Old Swanee had it coming. Serves him right for getting tortured on his own racks. Then Sek must have broke him real quick, though. I seen him prancing up the hall with his bat in hand, yelling for Gremlins to play cricket with. Okay. What is down here? Is this just... I will have them just wander real quick. See if there's anything. Um, Doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can go down here. This is just... A random little pocket of people. Which is strange and a half. None of them even, like, will buy or sell stuff. Why did you go down there, you dumbass? Ugh. Yeah, positioning our allies in this is... an issue. Especially whenever it comes to elevators. Is it gonna come back down? Thank you. I would hate to... Oh, come on, game. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I would hate to have to leave them down there. Okay, can we actually get it to come back up? I think that might be how to bring it up. Please do not get stuck on there. There you go. I don't think these other ones had a grate like that. Can check real quick. That one doesn't. Pretty sure this one doesn't. I do find it kind of creepy that these have just giant gaps on either side of them. I guess that's to keep them from touching the walls, but you can still touch the walls whenever it's a gap that's like less than an arm's length. And we just have an empty room. I was expecting there to be enemies in there, to be honest. And yes, we will be quick saving very frequently because of the crashes. I hear things. There they are. Go get them. Shouldn't be too scary in here. We, we can drop some heals if we need to, but... We are mostly just like super tanky characters, so most of the enemies here are not going to be a real threat to our frontliners, and it looks like they are very interested in our frontliners. 
Okay, for a quick heal. And back to slashing. Little bit of murder in the morning. <laughs> Making sure everything is correct out here. And yeah, nothing too scary. I don't remember what the ending of this is like. I'm pretty sure it's just a generic fantasy game ending, but... And yes, we will um, heal. There you go. There is something in there sucking green stuff out of him. Um, let's go ahead and do a heal. There you go. Everybody cast your heal on them and start beating up the ghost. And I don't know if I'm going to bother picking up spells from here on out. Most of the spells that we would want, we aren't going to have the levels to use. Okay, so map-wise, it looks like we do have several paths we can go down, though, which kind of... I have a feeling I know which one is forward, but I don't want to assume. Okay, so all of that can be picked up. Yeah, hopefully everyone is doing all right today. Definitely getting started a bit... Well, not necessarily early, but jumping right in a bit sooner than usual. Oh, and they've got guys in there. Yeah, we've got a whole prison we can explore, which is a bit fun. Enemies cannot see... They don't seem to be able to actually open doors. Which is good for us. They're, we're definitely getting a lot of XP from this, though. I think you end... I thought we ended at, like, from my earlier playthroughs. I thought the ending was at, like, 50s in a level. But it looks like we're not even going to hit, like, 40s on strength and stuff like that. Well, I think we might have hit 40. Come on, you guys. Stop. I really don't like that. It's like any time I go to move somewhere, I end up clicking on a character and it deselects everybody. I know I, I should just get good. It's a skill issue. But good bloody hell is it irritating. Come on, move this way. Move this way. He'll come to us. Grab that. Cast. Cast. We don't even care about the gear. Oh, here, ga grab gold. I don't think that's going to be a down. It's not. Yeah, I, I just don't want to be picking up all the stuff again. There's a lot of it just, like, floating around. It, there's a lot of trash. I hear something shooting at me. Those guys. I really don't know how complicated the map here is going to be. But we'll find out soon enough, probably. Fill off the Torek. Ooh, we got Ranger Plate. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be better than anything we have. We can check it real quick, but it's probably just another 15 life minus whatever mana situation. And 197 def Oh no, it's minus dexterity plus strength. I don't think anyone's going to be strong enough to equip it. And yeah, he's not even strong enough. I'll consider keeping it for a little while just in case. Everything else here just needs to be dunk, dunk and pick it up. Hey Adam, how's it going? I'm just a crotchety old man. I'm sadly not a dirty old man. Although I do like my crass humor. I guess on some levels I am. Another ring! And I will check which ring it is after we finish fighting the like swarm of enemies in the tiny little prison cells. But hopefully you're doing alright this morning. As we continue to stab floating skeleton torsos. Press two, two, come on, thank you. 
pressed the button several times and didn't swap my skills. And what one really odd thing, by the way, that I, I don't know how true this is. I just know that it was mentioned on a Discord that I'm part of that has a bunch of creators in it. Supposedly, and I need to test this, watching on a mobile device doesn't count towards your viewers, which is like, what? But I think they might be mistaking it for whenever you load the current mobile version, it actually just auto loads a stream for you. I think that doesn't count. I think someone is misunderstanding the rest of it. What is that? Oh, it's a skull. Okay. We'll deal with this stuff in a minute. If the camera would stop fighting me. This is a very odd layout for a prison as well. You have, like, cells within cells within cells. Which is very strange. Ooh, light ray. That might be actually something halfway decent. I'll check on it in just a moment. Pick up all your garbage. Come this way. I clicked there like three times, but it did actually register. Okay, that gets us out of this circle. I think we literally just want to go forward. Through the like center part. Yeah, I was just, like, noticing conversations being had on that subject. It's very strange to me. Like, what Twitch does and does not consider a viewer? Because they, they're contradictory at times as well. <coughs> That's not a bad spell. Does anyone have 48 nature? 43, 45, 41, 42. No, nobody has 48. Yeah, let's go down the center line. Because this looks like it's progress forward because stairs. Oh, great. We have tons of summons. Should probably switch over to actual weapons. Let's go with three. That way we only get one person doing the wind. I think these require 40, if I remember correctly. So it's going to be a minute before we can actually use Ray on all of them, but I do actually have enough lightning burst for everybody. Almost there. We got one little Mucosa over there, which is nothing. Sharg's Revenge. Is that what it says, or is it Shard's Revenge? No, it's Sharg. With a G. Sharg's Revive, sorry. Sharg's Revive is, of course, probably running along with some health. Mana cost depending on the power of the That's just a raise. Does it give a different percent than the combat revival? Because we actually have a combat revival as well. Okay, the other spell we were looking at. Not Cave Giant, not Scorpion. Yeah, she has Lightning Blast. That's going to be... No, she can actually use Lightning Blast. We can swap that over on her in just a minute. Thought we got another spell. Scorpion, draw near, explode body. Shard's Revenge, Frigid Armor. I know we got Ray, Light Ray. I thought we got something else I wanted to look at, but I'm not seeing it. It would have been near the bottom. It wouldn't have been at the top. There's our star key that I was looking for earlier. Yeah, I don't see anything. So, inventory. On you. You now have lightning blast. That's going to make us quite a bit more damaging. Ooh, what the? Disembodied turkey are you? Seriously, what are they? Trying to get a good look at them before they die, but they just look like 
turkeys without their head. They're jerky turkeys. And they're not very tough either. Can you guys actually move forward, please? I don't know why they weren't casting the spell before. He might have just been at like 50.002%. And yeah, I can't swap weapons whenever I'm picking up stuff. That is actually an oversight, but I think I might understand why they did that from a mechanical perspective. Thank God my mute button works. That sneeze hurt. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, he's dead now, but I don't know what he was doing. Lava imps? They're still throwing new enemies at us. Jesus. Poo -poo. Grab all your stuff. Back to fighting mode. I am glad that there's a few less enemies here. What are you? I guess we'll be releasing that guy? Nope. Keep fighting. Yeah, we can hit that. We can also hit this button. I don't know what that guy is. But we might actually not finish all the quests because that one that we... I don't think we just encountered the right person for it. Okay, grab the coins. Ignore the long crossbow. As opposed to the short crossbow. Or the mid-sized crossbow. Or the straight crossbow. Or the sine wave crossbow. Okay, what are you? I have a feeling we want to murder you. Tried, 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 but Swanee didn't give it away, did he? No, he's a good boy, isn't he? Old red eyes, evil eyes. They tried to crack his head with magic, but he's got daisies for brains now, don't he? <laughs> don't he? They wanted to know where the Chamber of Stars was. Those sack devils. But Swanee wouldn't tell them. The secret chamber with all the king's magical goodies. You! You nearly tricked old Swanee, but I'll not give it away. Never! Bloody sack traitors! The Mad Jailer. He doesn't seem too mad. He doesn't seem too tough. He's got a cricket bat. Which I have a feeling he's going to drop. So, mm, nope. Savage Bow. Swan There's Swanee's Club. So you actually can get the battle. I don't think I ever used it. Because it requires 48 strength. Which I think we would have to have gone through solo with the get. 150 to 180 damage versus our current one, which is 45 to 174. So, yeah, it's definitely better. Um, ooh, Ventral Sleeping Slithe of a uh, Affluence. Health per hit, block range attack, range skill. It's 36 strength requirement, so all of these guys can actually equip it. Uh, let's see. Who needs it more? 241, 186, 248. I think... We toss it on you. But then we lose your frost. So no, we don't we don't ditch the frost. How much damage do you do with it? Way less. Why is that so much I don't understand how that is less damage.
100 to 130. I mean, uh, yeah, less max. My math are good. So really... He's the only one that gains any damage advantage from it. But this does bring your average up. And let's go with you on that. We'll keep this just in case we're not happy with it. And grab that. So we he did not tell us where it is, unfortunately. We are never going to subdue the Droog. Because I didn't talk to the right person. So I only found one that talked. So we're looking for the Chamber of Stars. What the deuce are you? You're a Kel. So they've got Mage Lizard Satyr people. Which is a little bit scary. Uh, the paddle? I mean, it's not the first time I've seen a paddle in a game, but it could be. Do we want to free the little demon turkeys? I actually don't care about the demon turkeys. Imperial plate might be better. I think we're about to be hit by these skulls over here, unfortunately. They should find their way to us, but... Is that any better? Novel Imperial Plate 242. Alright, Strength 24. I mean, it's better in most ways. We need plus strength rings. Speaking of which, range skill, that's absolutely, that's the first absolutely useless ring for us. So this, uh, but no, it's just a big club. I think he's supposed to be a reference to the butcher, but I'm not positive on that. I think we might keep this for you to try on. Although you're never going to get to 24 strength. We won. I'm looking to see if we have the ability to get him three more strength from somewhere. So we have one on a staff. We got one on this armor. We take that off. We lose the martial gloves, though. The one, two. This goes to her. She needs one more strength to actually equip it. Oh wait, she doesn't need different boots. Keep those on. Um, that drops one more strength, so that puts her down to 15. That can go to her. That can go to her if we can actually clear some room in here. I'm sorry for managing my inventory in the middle of this, but... I think we... Oh yeah, requiring strength for his armor means we just can't actually... Because this is a armor as well. Yeah, getting strength from armor is just not going to work. Nope, I don't think there's a way for us to get him up to 23. He's checking everything. We probably should have grabbed some plus strength stuff. Where did I put his armor? That's 22. So yeah, we're not going to be able to get that on really anybody. Because he needs to be able to get armor with, I mean, strength without 
the armor equipped. Uh, butts. Yeah, I think we just give her the this back. So she can at least equip something slightly better. Okay, so who had the chain on? I don't think he did. I think he had this. Strength, dexterity versus chainmail. I mean, we can equip that for now. It's fine. This is going to go to him as well. I doubt he'll actually ever be able to equip it. And the rest of these are way out of his range. The Great Helm... Uh, I mean, it is better than what you have. That's 17 versus 17. Yeah, this is just better. I think that's what we want to be sticking with there. My brain is not super great today, but... We should be fine. I get a heal in there, please. Or not. There you go. Everybody drop all your heals. Bring him to life. There we go. And we'll finish up this fight while the ads are playing. It's not exactly going to be something we can do a lot with, but... Our characters should just be able to handle it on their own. I'm gonna kill him. Definitely a lot of enemies in here. I think if we had left it on the last difficulty, we would have been pretty much shoot up immediately or been out of healing potions by now. Okay, let's see. Do I bother picking stuff up? No. None of this is really worth picking up. We'll be fine. Okay, now this button. Probably going to get something that attacks us. Oh, it's just an elevator. Interesting. So we can go down there. Everybody, please get in. God, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Get in. Get in. As far as who's going to push it. Um. Yes, you. Or not. It doesn't go back down. So I got in there for no reason whatsoever. Because I am a dumbass. Dumbass genius cycle in development is a thing, and dumbass genius cycle in playing games is a thing. Sorry, grabbing a drink. There we go. Gotta stay hydrated. Hydrate or dihydrate. Okay, so two bridges. This place does seem familiar. Though it might also be because of a different game. I think it actually might definitely be because of another game. Because there's this place like this in... Oh. Oh, that space souls like. I just completely forgot the name of it. I even did a review of it, is the stupid thing. Now I can't remember the name of it. Oh, the one where you're on a space station surrounded in a black hole. 
I'll, no, not hollow. I can't remember the name of it now. Door seems to be stuck. Hellpoint, thank you. I don't know why my brain went hollow. Okay, so that door is stuck. We can't actually open it. So this direction is the wrong one. Oh, never mind. There is progress forward. Oh, dramatic entrance. I mean, I have a feeling you'd notice this. This vault. A giant floating orb in the abyss is not lacking in being obvious. Yeah, there was an area that was like that in Hellpoint, but it was mechanical rather than stone. Now, can I please not be positioned outside the sphere that I'm trying to navigate? Yes, we go up. Yeah, it, it's just continuously spiraling up. I thought maybe it might come back down. Oh, what do you want? Oh, it wants these all turned. Okay, so it does spiral back down. God, the camera in here is awful. <laughs> I am I am fighting this fucking camera the entire way. It keeps wanting to drift, and it keeps wanting to go outside the orb. No. Okay, so is that enough? Please stop drifting. Cameras. Oof. 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 Okay, so there's one. There's two. And should it start spinning the third? Yeah. Yeah, come on, gyroscope, go. Man, this visual right here is going to be familiar to us on the next, well, not the next game, game after next as well. Because we're going to be showing off, um, song, not Song of the Siren. It might be Song of the Siren. But yeah, we're showing off that. And then we'll be doing Septera Core, which entirety of Septera Core is based off of a model like this. Spinning rings and plates. It is pretty fancy whenever the camera is actually working with us. So that is the treasure. I think there's more than one treasure. Please stop spinning, camera. Oh, Lord. My Lanta. Kicker boots. Yeah, we'll look at each of these because this is like the big treasure. Keep, keep going. Was it for the camera? This place wouldn't be that bad. Okay, Echo Helmet. Watch most of this be actually useless. I think that's everything. Check up here just real quick. Make sure it is. Nope, there's still another chest. Okay, so I think that's everything from these chests. Inventory. Start with what we have on you. Oh, for the love of Christ, the camera. Camera, please stop. Please fucking stop. Stop. Okay, Crystal Gauntlet of Influence. Um, health stolen, mana stolen per hit. 13 health. Range damage reduced by three versus that. 31 strength. This one's only 20 strength requirement. That might actually be able to go on you for a bit. Uh, kicker boots, 6 armor, damage reduced by 3%. I 
think compared to what we have, that's just better. Yeah, it's just slightly better stats. Mace of Dread. It's lower max damage. It has health and mana stuff. It has range skill. And plus one strength. But I don't think plus one strength is going to actually make us able to do anything. This can go away. So sure. Pass it down the line. I think we keep that. Pass that down the line. Pass that down the line. I really don't like the camera. Plus one strength. That's 10 armor, one dexterity versus more armor, but it reduces dexterity. I think that's going to reduce our overall life. No, it still increases life. Is the plus strength. That can go away because it's garbage. That can go away because it's a bow. Speaking of which, we should probably just toss these on the ground as well. We probably won't end up using that. Charge revive, dexterity. Thin chain only requires 14 strength. It adds 4 to melee skill, though. It's. Eh. Toss it down. Just go to somebody, please. Stately Gorax. I mean, that's just a straight damage improvement, but we lose the cold. What is he full on? That can go the hell away. That is piercing damage reduced by 4%. 36 strength, 97 to 145. <sighs> I think I prefer the health per hit of the other one. That can go away. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that too. We passed the plus strength somewhere. All stolen plus one strength. I think we just got a duplicate. Oh, no, we passed that back. So that's plus one dexterity and a range skill. Oh, yeah, she can't equip her gloves. I hate that it drops it immediately on the ground rather than in her inventory, but to each their own. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. This is just better? Secret Punisher crossbow of the seasons. It's cool looking. It's got that rainbow color to it, but we're not using bows. That isn't going to be better than anything we've got. I think we passed that down. <laughs> That's another bow that we don't need. Echoing Helm of Influence. Armor, range skill, health, health per hit. I think that is just better than what she has. 37 armor, yeah. She's going to look sketch. Okay, so that's 1-1, one, one. that's 7 health for 35, this is 24, that just goes on the ground then. That's going to just go on the ground, I think, because it's 38 strength requirement and his is better. That's going to go away. I think that's, oh, we have this. Okay, 6 armor, is that better? No, that's not. That is slightly better. But this has that damage reduce thing. Okay, so that is straight up better damage. It's slow and two-handed, so no. We don't want two-handed stuff. Two-handed stuff just doesn't work for us. Just one of those things that's just kind of like, nah, thanks, though.
Neither of those are going to be terribly useful, I don't think. I mean, it is better armor for her. If I can get these things to... Just, yeah. Okay, that's 5 armor, 107 to 139. It is better damage. Doesn't have the same health per hit, but it does give us 1 at least. So she's got the backup martial gloves. I think we go ahead and just get rid of those and those. Keep this because of the magic damage reduction. And you just aren't going to be anything. Because nobody else is at 17 for these. <sighs> I keep forgetting to change that setting. Oop, sorry about that. Okay, plus intelligence. Not going to be useful for us because I don't think he's ever going to reach even like 30. That's intelligence 39 required? He does not have that, so it's going to be one of you that probably is going to use this. You keep that. Damage reduced. Yeah, that's just better. Yep. That looks like what we're going to be sitting with. We have so many just spells in our inventory, it's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and get rid of these so the enemies don't get them. Can I please just cast it on something that's relatively close by? You actually have to hover right over the name, otherwise it just won't do anything. And yes, I, I am just turning them into gold because, frankly, it's better than just leaving them here to disappear on their own. Journal-wise, Chamber of Stars is do done, so we just have to vanquish the sec. Should be relatively easy to do. Of course, we are still only in Chapter 8. There are nine chapters. Does this open Our that other door? Stepped forth from the chamber of stars, a fearless champion who would valiantly stride into the army of horrors that lie in wait, determined to crush an eternity of madness before it could be unleashed. But yeah. Looks like... Did you actually see that message before I banned it? Out of question. Oh, Vanquish the Sec has moved to Chapter 9. Here they come. So you actually have to go into that chamber. Yeah, there's... Ban Evasion Detecting is actually working on the bots. Oh my god. I'm actually legitimately surprised by that. YouTube and Twitch have been notoriously kind of mediocre whenever it comes to stuff like that, but I know that they've been trying. Just a matter of they haven't been succeeding very well at getting rid of bots. That said, it is just one of those situations of escalation. So you have the e evasion detection gets better, then the bots get better, then the evasion detection gets better. It's just back and forth. It's an arms race. It's the whole body armor versus weapon conundrum. And yes, they're just set up to attack the weakest. Because that's going to make life easier on me because they'll just take out the kind of trash that's in the way. Yeah, I'll need to look at what that symbol means next to that.
Okay, so we can't go through. Oh, there it is. Nope. That's just a torch. Thought it was a lever. How do I get in here? Yes. No, we just. I guess we just have to go through this door over here. Or do we have to light all the torches? Torches, torches, torches. I don't see any more torches. So this way we go. I see you over there being mad at me. Tough shit. But yeah. For the most part, this last part of the game has been relatively chill. Which is a good thing. It has me nervous that the final boss is going to be like a massive uptick in difficulty. Kind of like how the goblin boss was. That goblin boss was a beast. Bit overtuned compared to the area. Although we were also a little bit underleveled. I don't know what we missed that would have gotten us more levels, but... Definitely felt like we were... We, it would have been impossible to have enough potions to get through there. That said, I could probably have gone the route of more limited characters, but focused. So like one fighter instead of three, so I could just build up strength on one character, one mage of each type, an archer, and then the rest be who's your watch McCallits. Okay. And then the rest be mules, sorry. Would have also given us more space to haul crap around to be sold to the next spot, but alas, my ass, ha ha ha, it was not what was there. What is the name of the, like, big, big, big potion we have? Is that just, that's super, okay, so it's a super health potion. And yeah, the item drops in this definitely a bit more on the, hey... There is no post game until you actually go to multiplayer vibe. Because we were getting stuff that we can't even use throughout the story. Unless we really focused like one stat and only played solo. What did we get there? Uh, Cloak of Reversal, no. The Swift, nah. Thought we got a gold item. There they are. Boots? Nope. Then back to one. Pick up our gold and that one mana potion. I think we go down in here. Fight more frickin' demon turkeys. I swear, I think those are meant to be creepy, but they really just kind of make me laugh on the inside, which is probably not the intended feeling. Most of the enemies here, these actually are like, okay, I can see what they were going for. The, the singed? No. <laughs> nope, the singed are just like, hmm. Makes me crave Thanksgiving. You a fried turkey, son. We are definitely still gaining a bunch. A bunch of XP. And this is starting to give me Oblivion Gate vibes. Just the red hue. Everything is like upended into hell. That kind of situation. Not even going to bother picking that stuff up. Uh, lava Horrors, our melee, Lava Runners, I don't know what those are going to be. These, yeah, these are just imps that come in and claw us. They're not that scary. Do I really need to be picking up gold? Don't think so, but I don't know if we keep the gold whenever we export to the multiplayer version, which I'm not going to do right away if we end up doing it. I, I don't really feel an urge for that. I think once I'm done with this story, where it's going to sit on the back shelf for at least a little bit. Get you. Get 
yeah, it's probably going to sit on the back shelf for a little bit because it is kind of reaching that point where the story is not quite enough to compel me forward. Which is a shame because I actually do like this game. Just doesn't feel quite as punchy as I would hope. Of course, I, I reach that point in a lot of games. Even ones I really, really, really love. So I'm not going to really count that against it too much. But generally, whenever I do reach that point of I just want to rush through to the end, I know that the game is closing in on its kind of wear out point. Final Fantasy XII does that to me as well. I can get maybe halfway through it, and I really enjoy the Gambit system and everything about it. It's, it's a fun game. It's just by the time I get to about the maybe two-thirds to three-quarter point in Final Fantasy XII, I just don't feel like playing more Final Fantasy XII at the time. And I know that if I give it two or three months and come back, I won't know what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> Even with the journal, it's like, huh. <laughs> it, it just wouldn't have the same impact on me story-wise. The Lava Beast, relatively easy and relatively low life. Get that heal going. And yes, I am fairly certain that the healing breezes stack. Because I do notice that whenever I'm not on the healing rotation, like if I'm on just this one, the heal is relatively slow compared to whenever I have three people on healing rotation. God, this place is going to be a nightmare to navigate. At least we're getting shrines. Not that we really need to use them at this point. In the beginning of the game, we definitely did. Fighting those wolves standing on top of the healing shrine, absolutely something that was needed. But here, especially with the large party that we have... It just doesn't make as much sense. And if we beat this early today, I might, maybe, maybe do some art on stream. I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll have time to actually do a custom portrait for my D&D &D character. Kind of sucks. Because I was wanting to do that, but for now we're just using a placeholder character for it. Which is me painting over a photo. Not entirely painting over it, but I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. Basically, found a stock photo and modified it to look like my character. Photoshopping, basically. Because it isn't all original on the top of it or anything. It's literally just... I made the pieces I added look like the photo. So like glasses, ear modifications, stuff like that. And I don't think any of the people who are doing D&D are watching this. But if they are, I'm not going to spoil what my character is for them because I do find it hilarious that they almost predicted it without realizing it. I do think I should have actually gone for the other character I was thinking of, though. Basically, I had narrowed it down to two characters. Let's go ahead and do a heal there. Do that. Do that. We don't want the sex sword. That's so just going to get it, like, demonetized. And, well, actually, my... Let's Play channel isn't even monetized to begin with. Restricted. Because it's sec sword. And if Google's auto detection reads it as the other thing, then that's what probably is going to be picked up by it on the YouTube end of things. But yeah, this place, pretty straightforward. This this actually gives me a little bit of Act 4 Diablo 2 vibes as well, but we don't have Gloams, so I'm not upset. 
Gloams are my worst enemy. Grab that. They are my bane. And I don't even just mean in the Diablo 2, uh, not Diablo, the Batman sense. Bane! Actually, Bale! You shall not pass. No, no, Bale. That's a different movie. I actually don't... Did they ever name the guy at the gates in Diablo 2? I don't think they did. I'd have to look it up and see what his name is. Because he's a barbarian. And he gets splatted. So he, you don't actually meet him in town. Just tells Bale that the walls of blah, blah, blah have stood for eons. I, I am bad at quoting stuff because I don't remember the exact quotes. Unless I can view it in context. These guys on the, like normal difficulty and hard difficulty are beyond brutal because of the size of their AoE. And yes, we're still on easy. Mainly because meh. I couldn't be arsed to swap it off. Especially after the goblin boss. I know we got Babom. We'll pick up that gold in a minute. There it is. Combat magic. It deals massive damage, but it requires magic level 60. Something we will not reach. Because we're in chapter 9. And I don't think chapter 9 is one of the longer chapters. Because we don't have a town. That I'm aware of. And our goal is literally just to clean up the mess that should have been handled many, many eons ago. But as far as the, like series goes. We will be returning to it. I will be playing the second one, but it's going to be a relatively blind play because I haven't beaten that one. Um, whereas Dungeon Siege 3, I actually think I have more time in Dungeon Siege 3 than Dungeon Siege 2, which is kind of weird because I thought Dungeon Siege 3 was, it was okay. It wasn't the worst thing ever. It was just an action RPG. I would rank it kind of in the same vein as um, Shadows. The Shadows series. And that guy is easy as hell. As long as we can keep the like, area of effect damage guys away from our mages, we don't have much to worry about even with that. He just vanished. He didn't even explode. They each chose one. Cool. See, they usually do that. That mage just kind of vanished without his little fire animation. And why do we have pawns as clay pots? I was noticing that as I was walking by. They look like little pawns and bishops. And yes, we are saving frequently. This game has been known to crash. It's crashed four times during the stream so far. Uh, once on the previous two sessions before the last one, twice on the last one. It was a bit frustrating. Ooh, inspiration. You can get that D&D. Dundee. Uh, enhances casting ability, raises intelligence by three, nature magic by one, and combat by one. Nice. Yeah, this is the epic fight up to the end. I don't remember what the last boss of this is. <laughs> like I said, it has been a while. There's really no need for us to, like, deviate from our core attack things, because, generally speaking, micro in this is a pain. Ravaging Longsword. We're actually getting decent damage weapons. 
Watch us get like a hand axe or some ruined hammer or something in just a minute. Oh, you're getting a hundred damage thing. It's dropping down to like a two to four. I think the scaling in this is a bit wonky too, though. Because you really do go from like, at the very beginning, you're getting what? Single and double digit gold. And within a couple hours after that, you're getting thousands. And now we're getting tens to forties of thousands. is irritating. Give me just one moment. I'm going to have to alt-tab again. Go. Yeah, each alt-tab generally is because of a bot. Unfortunately. Because welcome to Twitch. YouTube's not any better, by the way. Okay, so focus fire. And yes, we are taking a ton of freaking damage on this. It's because of, like, all these archers being piled up. It is really a pain. They do this a lot whenever they're trying to just have a difficulty spike. They'll just pack in a bunch of ranged enemies. And it really does suck. Okay, I'll check out those leather gloves. They might be stat based. Should let us equip more gear. And yes, I am having to swap over to the healing side. Time to start dealing with these bastards. It's not even that they individually do much damage. It's just the sheer number of the buggers. And on the Twitch side, it says those are hidden, but I don't trust it. Because it's showing up on my OBS as well. And OBS is... OBS generally uses a BTTV, I think, setup. But I'm not positive on that. Oh, and they're, they're like, high. Now, let's see what those gloves are like. No. No. Watches get attacked. Oh, no, it's not as open as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be way more open on either side. Yeah, not a lot of enemies in here. I do prefer, like, one big strong enemy over a bunch of little pain-in-the-ass enemies. Just because it makes my life easier. And this place only seems, like, vaguely familiar. Which is unfortunate, but... Only so much you can do. And also, if you're looking on other sites for my stream schedule, don't. The only one that is, like, accurate is going to be the Discord and on Twitch. And Discord gets changed first. There is something attacking me from behind. Oh, you little bastards. Go after them. Get them, my dudes. Okay, so it, it is definitely super dark down here. I don't know why. We have, oh god, this place is actually fairly expansive, because we can't see the wall over there. Can't see the wall over there, and there are just multiple branching paths down here. And yeah, we'll just let them choose their targets however they please. 
generally speaking, I should be playing this like an RTS and actually doing micro to focus fire, all that stuff, build a concave. That said, our units are actually really ineffective at doing concaves. The problem is like that. <laughs> they do just wander off to the side there. Go, please. I didn't want to actually have me move everything. That's what the clunk noise was about. It was rejecting my move because there wasn't a spot for like one or two of the characters. I think we are supposed to follow these. I think that is the proverbial road. Our combat mages don't seem to be doing too hot in here. I don't know if they're doing like less damage or something. They do fire damage, so wouldn't surprise me. Sorry, just stretching my arm. It shoulders stiff. Watch this only be like a two-hour stream because of how. What the hell? And watch this be like a two-hour stream because of how. The area is laid out. I think this is more how it's supposed to look. For some reason, I think there's some visual issue that's causing it to have that pink haze. As opposed to like a purple haze. Or a chocolate rain. I can't think of any other color designed songs. Other than like we all live on a yellow submarine, but... That is a bit different. That's up there with more like, I want to ride my bicycle. Yep, that's totally not what I wanted to do. Where is he? There he is. I do see a camp of some sort over there. Currently at 3.5 million gold. Don't think we need more gold. Just a hunch. Do we just run through? No. We will get jank ganked from behind if we just run through. That said, whenever we go to do the multiplayer thing, I might actually unload all the other characters. Someone just picked it up. I think it was you. Nope. Go with the two. You guys can actually, you know, go and attack stuff. I don't have to have you all selected for you to just, you know, do your thing. I don't know why I feel compelled to pick that up. There is no point. We're not going to be buying anything else for the rest of the game. And I, I'm pretty sure you cannot import characters from this. Uh, Purple Rain does or Yellow Submarine? <laughs> I don't think Yellow Submarine does. But I actually have not watched the music video for either of those, believe it or not. I was never a big music video person to begin with. I do remember some of them just because like MTV was a thing. For most of my life, but. And then it became reality TV, which just made it kind of meh. I think that's a boss. Well, a mini boss. We've encountered a few of them before. I may have to walk all the way back to subdue the Droog just to feel complete. I'll do that off camera. Only has 1,300 life. He's a mini boss, and he has less life than the normal enemies. That's so stupid. They're fighting something. I don't know what. It's mostly just because I'm probably not paying attention to them. 
Like I'm gonna go aggro stuff while you you try and do things. Oh, there's an autosave here. This feels like a boss room. Long narrow passageway. Oh no. Oh. The new area is what it is. It's not even a boss room. Okay. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I don't want a copyright. So I'll sing it really shite. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, they, they can copyright strike you on lyrics even. In case people are curious. Auto detect is pretty sophisticated and that is creepy as shit. I'm going to go look at it. You guys go ahead and heal. I want to go look at this. I think it's in a few places. See, this is more creepy than even stuff in like Diablo 4. And we can even hear it. Oh, that's weird. Does it actually come back whenever we look at it? No, it's part of the music. Okay. I was about to say, if that has a sound profile of just screaming, I approve. I think there's another one over here. There is. Can't see him on the map. I like that. I don't know why. That ju that just feels better than a lot of even like the modern like, oh we're evil. Because the modern stuff, it's more like it's like comparing Saw to the sh Shining. Yeah, Saw is gory. Ooh, uh. And this isn't even psychological horror on this. It's just like it encompasses it a little bit better. Just that feeling of, hey, there is evil here. Let's make it apparent. Of course, a lot of modern games do tend to go the path of gray. Which is, even the evil things are not entire, entirely evil. But whenever you're dealing with, like, Diablo and stuff like that, they are by their nature proud of being evil. Evil to them is good. It is their goal. So... <laughs> unlike human evil things or evil humans are often at least thinking they are working towards an objective if not working towards a cause they view as just even the worst human beings think they're doing what is right even if their definition of what is right is just profit I've got to maximize profit so my employees can keep their jobs. Okay. I've got to maximize profit so I can enjoy the quality of life I want. And my employees can keep their jobs. And then it just kind of escalates from there. Then you have CEOs earning lottery winnings every single year. And if they get fired, they win the lottery again. Imagine what would happen, it would be unsustainable if you gave every employee a golden parachute. Audio is glitching a little bit. I think it tried doing the scream thing while we were stabbing faces. As far as the direction we we're supposed to go, I have no earthly idea. This is very much is just a winding path of spines and dragons and nightmares. I'm feeling this is not the right way, if I had to guess. It's just Drake's. Or maybe this is an all roads lead to Rome situation. I 
I just realized something about the bike song. I think they might have actually used that for a... Like, the original video might not have all the naked people that you're thinking of, but they might have used it for a naked bike ride event, which would have resulted in a music video with a bunch of naked people as well. But that would have been happening about 15, 20 years after the song was originally released. If not longer. I forget when that bike ride was. There's a lot of popularity, like a lot of press coverage of it. Just all the winding paths. We're not getting all the animations very often. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I think that's forward. Or not. Actually, it does not look like forward. It looks like just a T that we have stuff on. The Unileska. I think that was the name of the priest in Final Fantasy X. The one you have to fight that can cast like instant death on you. Often considered like one of the hardest bosses in turn-based RPGs. Which is ironic for that particular game because the final boss of that game is actually relatively easy to kill because you're freaking immortal. You actually have to try and die in it. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, the bosses here are just not higher damage than what was there originally. Yeah, I can see the fire he's breathing, but he is obfuscated by the camera. I can't actually target him. Back up. Yeah, it's keep wanting to target whoever's behind it, which is kind of frustrating. That's why the sword was, like, white. Like, you can see I have it over him there. I have to get around the mage. To click on him. Let's go. Let's go this way. I am going blind. I don't remember which direction I'm supposed to be going. I know I'm just supposed to go kill stuff. Bruh. And we've got another spider quad scale behind us. Looks kind of like a predator head on a spider body. It's kind of creepy. I think the turkey ones are the least threatening, and I'm glad that they don't have more turkeys down here. Watch the turkeys be the boss's ads. That would be pretty normal. actually having to use potions mainly because I'm not on my healing rotation let's go ahead and do that oh that's a horrible auto save spot game that is no why would you auto save there with a bunch of enemies that spawn right on that spot my dudes Imagine being like in a crappy position at that point and like really low on life, no potions, and it just auto saves. <laughs> and you didn't have a backup save. And yes, we are running out of mana because this has just been that long of a battle as well. I don't think we're hurting enough on life to justify chugging potions just yet. Okay, F2. Don't know what that noise was.
Down to hell we go. Aboard the flaming vessel. I want his staff. So, this is the best the kingdom has to send against me. <laughs> Did Merrick tell you that he came to us seeking his misplaced staff? And did he tell you that without it, he could not revitalize the wards binding us? And it was only a matter of time until we would all be free. Your ancestors put us into this hole, then told fairy tales about us to frighten their children. Eventually, you forgot that the sect were once real, a power to be reckoned with. Pray your god is more merciful than I. Okay. Can I just stab you in the face then? He only has 8,000 life. Controlling summoned. What is he summoning? Yeah, what did he summon? I don't think he summoned anything. Now he's actually doing damage. Okay, so that first wave was just like, haha, here's my mortal form, here's my god form. Don't even care about his summons, just focus it on him. We'll go for a heal real quick. Actually, let's go ahead and take out the summons. Those could actually stack up to be annoying. Especially the AoE guys. I don't care about the others, just the AoE guys. Although I think we did kill the others just by the sake of just being there. Because as soon as our characters turn around, these little ones just tend to get crunched. Okay, so heal... Oh, his summoned have very short lifespans. Yeah, I know he died. Um, he was a good actor. Not this guy, um, the one who did Darth Vader's voice. I have just completely blanked on his name, but he was in a lot of good things. He was like Simba's dad. He was... He voice acted and was an actor in a lot of good stuff. So definitely look at... I'm forgetting his name all of a sudden. Not James Earl Jones. Actually, it might have been James Earl Jones. That's the first name that's coming to mind, but... Like I said earlier, my memory is garbage. And I don't trust it. Oh, well, we've got him past halfway. Hopefully he doesn't have a heal or anything. Come on, just keep summoning. Can you, can, can you go up to him? I'm right. Yay. Yeah, I am terrible with names usually.
What's bad is I don't even remember the names of most of the actors in, like, my favorite movie. If that tells you anything. <laughs> what are you doing, Gom? We have knocked off your outside. Now you are just literally a special effects demo. Yeah, he's just the little sparkles. He's a particle effect demo. Let's just go ahead and, like, bulk pick up. There we go. And that's the end. I, I think it just straight kicked us out. Yeah, it did. Did we get to keep the stuff? Nope. Did it really? Just, it just kicked us back to the start. Is there actually a cinematic that's supposed to be after that? Or does it literally just kick us out? Please tell me. I, it just didn't bug. It bugged up. Phew. Bastards. Anyway, I will read what it says. With the sect defeated, peace once again returned to the kingdom. History would record the names of those brave heroes that drove the sect back to hell from which they had crawled. A hell that they would never return from again. Through, though victory was ours and nary a vile creature would show itself for many years, the story does not end here. Let's go ahead and just leave it on this. There was a new plan being devised, an evil plot that would once again plunge the kingdom into war. And that is the actual next story. Um, if we had the expansion, I'd be able to do that. But unfortunately, it's really hard to get the expansion these days. That is a very long lingering on that particular scene. And then I think it does kick you back to the start. Yeah, it goes to credits. So, yeah, that sucks. That the end cinematic doesn't work on this version. Although, this is still better than the Steam version. The Steam version just doesn't work unless you do a bunch of, like, mods and stuff like that. So, yeah, hour and a half. Um, Do I want to start another stream or do I want to call it a day? Because I actually have stuff I need to get done today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a short stream. I will get the stuff set up for the stream tomorrow, which is going to be Baldur's Gate 3, and then I will get in there and do set up the stuff for Septera Core, which is going to be our next like full game that we play through. But the, our next stream is going to be Baldur's Gate, then we're going to be doing a bit of Silence of the Siren. I can actually... I think I can show this. Oh, I can't show my Steam library because embargoes. But, yeah. Keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This is Manalzareth. And we will do a proper long stream tomorrow with Gablin and then some proper long streams next week. Bye.